Notable, look at my very cute Instagram story. I can't even like front. Look at. Heaven and yeah, sale. It's. Do I like this or should I have it like? Okay. At some point, I'll start this video. I promise. In today's video, I thought I would talk about all-time favorite K dramas. I used to have a series on my channel called Omo Drama, and it was essentially where I would talk about K-dramas while I would be putting on makeup, kind of like Bailey Sarian or Kenny JD. But then I stopped it because I realized I am not good at makeup, and I really miss doing it because I don't really have anyone to talk about K-dramas with, so I talk about it with you guys. I know, you're so lucky but yeah so i called it omo drama if you go further on my channel you can find some of them i'm going to tell you guys my all-time favorite ones <laughs> obviously my first and my most favorite k-drama in the history of everything that is real is weightlifting fairy kim bokju <laughs> that k-drama it's just it's so good it is about a lovely weightlifter and just her transition into womanhood girlhood all her life she's been trained to be a weightlifter which is like uh, uh, uh. but as she started college she saw a boy she saw a man who saw her as a girl and not just like a muscle machine and from then on she goes through this journey of just finding what truly makes her happy but still being true to herself and learning to not change for people for men just because you like them it is such a feel-good drama they do have some serious takes they do lightly touch on topics such as depression anxiety eating disorders etc i just i really like it i watch that drama when i am sad or if i'm just not having the best day because it just it makes me laugh their romance is top tier the two um namju hok nan namju hyok and e song kyung they dated in real life i believe around the time that this drama came out and their chemistry in the drama obviously it was real is just so good it will give you all the feels i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen it if you haven't no judgment but like judgment the second one is going to be my all-time favorite, which is like such a contrast, such a shift from my first one. It's going to be Strangers from Hell. And I, oh my gosh. When they took it off of Netflix, I was in shambles. This drama is so good. I think it's a psychological horror drama. It is very dark. It's about a guy who, you know, is a very good guy. I think, he, I can't remember the actor's name, but he's from the drama run on i believe and he plays the part of like a innocent doe-eyed like guy so well and just seeing his shift in the middle of the drama to something total opposite of who he was in the beginning was amazing i think all the actors did so good in this drama my husband is in this drama um i Dong-wook's character is this is the role that actually like made me fall like in love with him which is everyone's like oh my gosh goblin like goblin he was just so good and i'm like no strangers from hell <laughs> did you guys see him in this drama and i also like it because it i like when dramas keep me thinking i as i'm getting more into korean culture and k-dramas and all that stuff my taste in uh the genres that i like is changing when i first started i was nothing but romances romance 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 give me love <laughs> now because i'm more seasoned i like more darker dramas even that when i was done watching it i was on reddit what is what did the ending mean and like is so and so still alive it was too much like if you want to like get like my true i guess reaction or whatever i will link that video because i couldn't stop thinking about it the next one is going to be Dali and the cocky prince i truthfully believe that this drama was so underrated i did not hear or see anyone talking about it and i okay listen hear me out i'm not a huge like netflix versus Vicky girl but i will say i truthfully 
you believe Vic Vicky has better K dramas? I'm so sorry. Netflix has good dramas. Sometimes the storylines are a little stale or they try to be the shock value is too much because they're introducing like sex and like boobies and <laughs> boobies. Some of the K dramas on Netflix are becoming too Americanized in a sense. The reason why I like K-dramas is because it was a more softer take on romance. I love good romance, but I don't like to see people having sex all the time on TV. I'm so sorry, it's just it's not my ministry. I love the slow burn of a drama and that they're just now holding hands on episode A and like they barely can, oh, like I love that. Even though Vicky's getting a little spicy, just like a smidge bit, it's still done in a tasteful way as opposed to some dramas on Netflix. It's given me American vibes. They throw in a sex scene for no reason. They show someone's chest for like no reason. Like it's uncalled for, but they just do it. And I'm just, mm. so anyway, it is most definitely underrated. And it is about a girl, Dali. <laughs> she is the daughter of a famous um, museum owner. So Dali, she was raised with money while the prince, him, him, I forgot his name on the show, but he wasn't raised with money. All of a sudden, they, I guess you can say struck gold by having a, what, oh my gosh, what mill is that? Gamjitang? even though he is rich he still has a very frugal mindset and then their dynamics are just so different she is more poised and like put together sophisticated and he's more free-spirited he yells a lot he's a great business person but you know still he has he's rough around the edges in the beginning it's kind of tough it's like good things happen then bad things happen to our main character but she's so strong she's so smart and she's such a boss and the fashion the clothes in this k-drama her outfits the chemistry between the two um leads was phenomenal she is she is so good with any guy that you put her with like please watch it's so good and it's so funny and i love the main male lead i can't remember his name but he is so cute and like his little dimple and then like them together because he's all rough but he like protects her and his voice is deep and deep. i just rewatched it actually because it's just so cute okay i'm sorry and then <laughs> because it has like the trope he falls first and also like harder we love that trope we see it in books all the time but they have it in like drama form he like loves her like so much and like when he gets like <laughs> see this is why i used to love omo dramas because i was able just to like rant it is just so and he like wants her to like rely on him oh. good day to be a dog stop this drama was so good i love i just i'm saying that about all the dramas it has my favorite actress Park Yu Young, um and then the male lead is chao <laughs> their chemistry was so good and it's a newer drama it released this Ani, it released the last year. And while the drama was really good, I didn't like the way that Vicky released the episodes because it was ongoing when I watched it, but I ha you had to wait like two weeks per episode. And I feel like a lot of people probably stopped watching because of that reason. But essentially, it's about a girl who has a family curse, changes into a dog at midnight, I believe. And if she kisses someone, if she kisses um, a guy, then she changes into a dog and then 
you have to kiss uh the guy has to kiss you again in order for you to revert back to a human i think that's how it's some, something like that it reminded me of like princess and the frog i personally personally personal opinion i think that chalona did a really good job in this drama his acting sometimes can be a little one-dimensional he plays the cold character uh, a lot except for his drama was that island he played someone different like a different like role and i actually loved him in that drama in this drama i was nervous that he was going to play the same role that he played before and he kind of did a little bit he showed more emotion he expressed his character expressed himself more and did certain things where it you can tell that his acting has elevated especially scenes that were like heart wrenching and moments where he should feel heartbroken i saw it they did have a flair of like historical drama in there a little a little sprinkle i'm normally not a fan of uh historical dramas oh this was the drama that i started watching it and then i stopped because i was just so tired of their upload schedule so i waited until the drama was like almost finished on instagram because my instagram explorer page is literally K dramas and stray kids right now i saw a clip people were like going crazy over about the show and i was like what happened and it was because when chalana and park Young were kissing they put tongue <laughs> So freaking scandalous a very light drama you can like throw it on if you're having a gloomy day or if you just want to watch something without thinking about thinking too hard perfect drama and that's the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have seen these dramas before please let me know in the comment section below and tell me your favorite drama so i can have more dramas to watch duh that's all bye i'm about to watch a new drama Mm-hmm. It's on Netflix. I know. Talking all that crap about Netflix and I'm about to watch a drama on Netflix. <laughs>